Big Shadow here and welcome to Big Shadow's World, uh, Year 13, Episode 13, Banished. And we're back with you today and we are continuing our expansion. Uh, so, straight up, uh, did pretty well over winter. Uh, still plenty of food left, two tonne of food, which will disappear very shortly of course. They were collected after coming out of hibernation. 34 adults and 17 children. And uh, we've still got our three cows slowly working away there. Um, yep, the main thing we've got at the moment is getting those builders to get off their butt and get those houses built. Um, plenty of uh, stuff going on, plenty of uh, construction to happen, and uh, plenty of resources to be gathered as usual. A little coal mine, looks like there's plenty of coal sitting out the front there. Uh, we can actually now get the uh, blacksmith to mark, so start making steel uh, tools which will be very handy we do have a ton of tools which is not a problem um, yeah so let's have a little look around and see what we've got keep it playing and uh, as you can see straight up over at the hospital there uh, we don't have anyone working there we've got no ill people uh, we'll consider that at the moment uh, get the next lot of immigrants come in um, or nomads uh, plenty of stuff in the central markets, the crops are in, they're working, planting those now, orchards are doing okay, and they produced very well last year. Uh, we still have people in the boarding house, and the aim of course is to get them out of the boarding house and into their own home. I want my own home. Um, yeah, so uh, we can do that. Events, a uh, couple of children born last year and an adult uh, has come into the labour force. So that's going well. Resource limits are not a problem. I will check them every time, but uh, just to make sure. And occupations there, five labourers, a couple in the building will go good. Farmers are fine. Blacksmith we have one. Uh, two miners, uh, they always do with more, no physicians, uh, we don't need them yet. We get down the bottom there, we do have one tailor, uh, one trader, one vendor, two woodcutters, four hunters, one herdsman, two herbalists and uh, three gatherers and two foresters. So uh, yeah, we've still got a few places we can throw people. Again with those gatherers I need to move, hunters and gatherers move them out into the forest area. But that can wait for the moment, and I'll probably go out to the right there. Herbalists, yeah, we can only take two there. They're not doing as well as I expect. Um, I think if I check, they've only produced 25. That's not very good. Uh, so we'll work at getting that up later. Okay. And we will move them off into a more uh, wooded area just to uh, hopefully improve that production. Back across to the cattle yards. Now that will all be farming over there as I said before. All the animals will go across there. Industry will go in between. The trading place post, uh, yep. Uh, we've got uh, sufficient resources in there to trade if something comes along that's worthwhile uh, like animals uh, or a, a good grain crop and a nice seed would be good um, and uh, if we look in that production was okay we are meeting uh, sufficient production to feed everybody which is good getting close there on that food so we'll have to keep an eye on that um, particularly if we sell out, but we do have surplus sitting inside the, a, the actual the trade centre there. Oh, sorry, in the actual trading centre, yeah. Okay. Crank this baby. Get it working. Next stop should be just when the trading ship comes. And that will probably be early winter. Uh, I think it's generally around that time. Uh, 
it's generally when the nomads show up too, right before uh, winter, when you haven't got time to organise stuff. Um, obviously they set out at the beginning of uh, spring. Okay, so you can see there, uh, there is a house uh, prepared to be built there. You can just see the outline in red. Um, so I can't put one there, that's fine. And if we have a look around the place, we'll see... Um, yeah, I don't want to put that. I've got a mental blank at the moment, I just can't think of how to rotate it. Um, it will come to me. It will come to me. Okay. Um, probably industry down this way. Uh, you can see some building sites for the shore houses and the fishing along the coast, which we put in last game. And uh, they will get built shortly. Back across this side, uh, this is probably where we will put the um, houses in that block there. There's a shore, uh, shore house up there. We can add someone in there. For the moment, they can collect sand. It's still a resource, we can sell it off later. Uh, hopefully, the builders get to these sites. Uh, they're not going as fast as I would like. Yep, still got to get those out. It's not bad, it's only a couple of houses. Down along there, a couple of houses would go nice. Um, but I can put an alley in between those, make it a block of uh, six to eight. Uh, wish I could get one in there. I could if I flatten the land, but I don't want to do that yet. Um, so, unfortunately, we can't put something there. Uh, that uh, resource area there will actually change to, I'll clear that out and put something else there. Okay, so where are we at? Uh, everybody's now off gathering up. Uh, there's the uh, barn I put over there, and there are four workers, but they're not doing much. Uh, well, I suppose it's getting cleared eventually. Later on I will extend that road and finish that uh, road off by the farm. Tons of wood lying around, as you can see. Fishing dock to go in, waiting for the builders. Crops are getting cleared off now. Uh, collecting kernels there, that's good. And um, we need to rotate those uh, probably next episode. Remember it pays to rotate the crops so you don't get fungus. Okay, there's the oil press and we'll need kernels. Just check to make sure we do have kernels. I'm pretty sure we do. Sunflower produces kernels. And uh, if I check with the uh, central markets there, you can see we have uh, a surplus of kernels so I can get them producing. And again, another resource to uh, sell. Right behind it is the um, Apri, and hopefully that will be finished shortly. They're working on that now, which means we'll be able to produce some honey. Again, another beautiful resource to uh, stock up and sell. Okay, that block's finally clear. Yes. And there are four workers there. Let's see if those resources get delivered. Uh, I hope so. Can't wait forever. I try to make them priorities, but I do have problems getting these things to be priorities. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. Uh, let me know. Uh, it'd be very handy. Um, I really, I could go look myself, but no, you let me know. That'd be fantastic. Here's our trade boat. Pause it up. Down we go, and hopefully you've got something good. Now food. Food's good. It's cheap. So I'll just swap that out, won't make a difference. Uh, I'll um, take some of each and hold some in the trading post and release just a little bit of it back into the actual population, just to give them a bit of variety. I believe it makes them happy. Um, I've seen nothing to the contrary, uh, but uh, I'll give that a go. Oh, there's not that much food in there as I thought. This is going to be a toughie. Oh well, it doesn't matter what we give them, we're getting food back. So we'll just have a little look through. Nice little background music there, that's Spanish Summer. And uh, courtesy of uh, audionautics.com, which is a website where you can get uh, music uh, to put on your channel for free. Uh, all you have to do is uh, give them a little plug in your notes there, 
and I'll have no problem with that. We do a good job. Lots of different types of music to choose from, so that's great. And nothing to purchase. If I buy it, then you know it's going to cost more, and there's nothing really I want there. Bye bye, boat. Off you go. Sail away, and uh, let's get back into it. Plenty of uh, uh, clothing there produced, and the hunters uh, off. They're doing okay. Um, we just check to see how they went. Uh, they did okay this year as well. They really should be out in the forest area, and I'll move them out a little shortly as well. Okay, trees are falling. Uh, logs are coming in, and this is the area I'm looking at to put in the uh, herbalist. So I'll probably put the herbalist hunters and uh, gatherers out into this grass uh, green area here. Tons of stone and uh, metals, which is good. Uh, we'll collect that, that uh, fairly soon, I think. I'll leave the trees there, but I'll just take the uh, stone and the iron. Okay, forestry lodge, doing a good job keeping those trees uh, or planting them and then cutting them. There's materials right outside that boarding house for when I need it, so that should be uh, no good. Uh, apiary, now it's finished, so we can throw someone in there to start producing honey. Yum yum yum. And that works well. Obviously we used up the kernels, and uh, that's it. Uh, and we'll see you in the next episode, guys. Thanks, bye bye.